Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our not so buried challenge. Now you're probably wondering, Sav, where's mystical motherhood? Where's a hundred baby? Well, to answer your question, I have decided to wait until the new paranormal pack comes out so that we can play with it a little bit with mystical motherhood. I don't want her to marry Patchy and then like have her have a bunch of babies with some other people. Cause I do want to see if we can have babies with Bone Hilda, And I also want the medium skill for the ghost babies. So I'm gonna wait to film the next episode of that until the pack comes out and then we will have Patchy's wedding after that. I mean Brenna and Patchy's wedding after that. And then with 100 baby I said I wanted to build a new house for it and we have been currently building it over on Twitch. It's not finished yet and I do want to finish it before I film the next episode. So that is why we are doing Not So Berry today. And honestly, like I have no problem with it. I'm really excited. I'm so into this challenge right now. And I know that, and I know that you guys are too. So I thought, nah, I won't cause any harm if I just film this today. And I do want to get a video up because I know it's been a while. It's also a very special day today, you guys, because I have a new Celsius flavor to try live on camera for the first time <laughs> i'm so excited it is the new strawberry guava flavor i uh i don't think celsius has any strawberry flavors at the moment no they don't except for mi mixed berry but i don't really count that as strawberry so yeah strawberry guava new flavor i'm so freaking excited to try this right now so let's get into it i'm so excited I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. These two flavors I love, so I don't see why it wouldn't. And it's sparkling, so yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Cheers. Oh man. That is so good. Holy crap. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they make their drinks just so tasty. I don't know. They're just so good. Okay, let me try to explain it. I would say that it's more on the guava side than the strawberry. It's sweet, but it has like, like a tanginess to it. I wouldn't say that it's sour because it's not, but it does have sour undertones. It's super refreshing too. Oh my gosh. Nailed it, Celsius. <laughs> so yes, I would 100% recommend this to all of my Celsius lovers out there. Anyway, enough of that, you guys. Cheers to you. Cheers to this video. Let's get into it. All right, you guys. Here we are back in the Berry household. <gasps> I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I did not make any new changes to the house. I didn't do anything really except for give Bud the rest of his outfits. Let me show you guys his alien form real quick. What are you doing in the bookshelf? Play? Well, aren't you cute? Okay, so let me um, remove disguise. Let's have a look at you, Bean. Let's see you. <laughs> oh, so this is what I went for. These are the eyes that he aged up with, so I left him with them. I changed his skin to the same color as his sister, since they are brother and sister. I thought it made sense. Um, and then I added some rose to him with the skin details that, uh, that Primrose has. They're just a little bit different. And then I just put him in the Star Wars Journey to Batu outfits, because why not? Oh, nice dude. Um, Andy, don't just watch him, discipline him. Firmly express disappointment. You bunghole. Oh yeah, he got responsibility. Okay, good boy. All right, let me have a look at your skills really quick. Not very good. We need to come over here and babble to this thing because that really helps with communication. I do want him to max his skills just like this bean did. Oh shoot, she didn't max her skills. And let me look at the calendar. Tomorrow is her birthday. Ay, ay, ay. yi. Okay, time goes by way too freaking fast in this Let's Play. Wow, so she's been a toddler for almost seven days. That flew by. Okay, well, so the agenda for today, try and max Primrose's skills, mm, age her up, Get promoted, of course, that's always on the agenda. We are level seven, 
I think we have the potential to get two promotions in this episode, but we'll see. And let me have a look at your skills as well. Skills as well. <laughs> Max Cato, thank you for uh, favoriting my 100 baby house shell. Appreciate that. So we really need to get to work on her mischief and her logic. I think we can do it. I think we can. Is she, is she even an, she's not even adult, an adult yet and we are like well into finishing everything. So I'm not worried. I'm actually quite pleased. So why don't you come over here and just troll the forums a bunch? Cause we do need to get to work on that. Um, on that uh, mischief skill. Why can't I talk? Also, let's keep an eye out for the mm, humor and hijinks festival because you guys were saying in the comments that um, going to the Humor and Hijinks Festival and joining the Pranksters team will, uh, like, massively improve our, our mischief skills. So, yeah, definitely want to do that. Also, um, one of you guys asked in the comments where the grill is from, and I'm pretty sure this is from Backyard Stuff, but I told you I would double check when I filmed, so let's see. Uh, yeah, Grill Zone Mania. So, uh, I think that the hot tub is from the back- the backyard stuff pack. Ah, Perfect Patio. My mistake, my mistake. Not Backyard, Perfect Patio. I t Good thing I double-checked, because I was so wrong. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Grilled plantains. Oh my gosh, Andy, you are always making such exotic foods. I love it. Also in the comments, um, one of you guys, your name's Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, you commented the coolest thing ever and I absolutely love it. When I gave you guys the lab tour last time, <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I put this bed in here, not really sure why, I just thought it was cool. But one of you guys came up with the, um, maybe like a possible reason why Andy has this in her lab. And it's to um, help aliens. She she brings aliens here, down here in her lab, and she helps them alter their disguise, helps them give them their disguise, and like um, does like little human surgeries on them. You know what I mean? Um, and just like helps them try or helps them blend into the real world more. Like, and she, this is where she brings them to do that. Oh, I just love that so much, and uh, like. <laughs> I like to think that maybe Andy helped her babies with with their disguises as well. Like that can just be like a little side hustle that she does. There is no way that we can do that in the actual Sims, but it's fun to have like a little storyline. Um, you know, just like make believe. I love it so much. She is just so content playing with this ducky. Oh shoot, you maxed your imagination skill already. Okay, Thinky is next. So all you gotta do for that, my love, is just walk around and watch, okay? Watch your brother, watch Andy, and yeah. You should be good to go very quickly. It's very good to hear that a lot of you guys really want Primrose to be the next heir. I agree, 100%. So that's what we're gonna do. She's gonna be the next heir. Um, also, the whole Alice situation. Lots of you guys want to see Alice move in, so I thought maybe we could, um, have her be a roommate. Um, the only thing about that is, like, where is she gonna sleep? I was thinking about maybe building, like, a little guest house outside, just a little tiny bedroom. Or putting a bed in the lab just as like a temporary thing until we can get some more money. But I really like that idea because her and Eric split up in the last episode, as you guys know. She's currently pregnant with another one of Eric's babies. Oh my gosh, this little butt is making a mess again. Oh my gosh, and now he's doing it in the nude. Oh my goodness, this child. He's wild, so I guess that's why he's being like super crazy. Um, yeah, take clothes off. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, yeah, uh, anyways, as I was saying, I thought it would be kind of cool to, um, like, maybe Alice was like, I just want to get out of the house. My daughter's a young adult now. She moved out, went to uni, whatever, and I just don't want to be alone with Eric in that giant house anymore. So, I think we're going to go ahead and do that in this episode. Um, it's funny, like, you guys were so into Luke in the first couple of episodes, but now you're just not sure. You're just not sure about him. And I can respect that. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see. 
I think that it would be cool if we... Where are you going? No! No! No, 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 no! Oh my god. Oh god. Gosh, I almost had a heart attack just now. She was going to investigate the weird light again, but I was able to... I thought you couldn't cross it out. Or, or I thought you couldn't, like, exit out. That's so weird. Maybe she just stopped on her own. I don't know. Either way, that was such a close call. I don't want any more alien babies. I need to make another satellite at work. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, this freaking dude is making a mess again. Andy, please come discipline. Strictly, no, firmly, tell not to make a mess. Ay. Please stop. I know you're like a crazy child. Oh, he's streaking again. <gasps> this freaking kid. I cannot. You, I need to like keep you busy, don't I? Constantly or else you're just gonna wild out. <sighs> All right. How's that thinking going? Oh, you're almost there. Okay. Let's see. Let's, um, let's test out this little table thing. Cause I, <laughs> I know that Andy has to build the blocks and then the toddlers can play. I'm not really sure how this works. It's honestly very confusing. Okay, there you go. There's some blocks. Why can't you interact with them? Okay, there you go. Bud has maxed his communication skill and it is officially Primrose's birthday. Woo! Look at her strutting around the house like no big deal. There you go. Oh my gosh, she did it. Okay, is this... I really don't understand this blocks thing. Can someone in the comments please tell me? Because... Oh my gosh, she's off to make another mess. No! Okay, let's get some potty training going for him. <laughs> of course she's giving him peas. Oh my gosh, so green. There. Oh, did I just put it in his inventory? Oh my gosh, this child. This child is so difficult. And now he's throwing a tantrum. Oh my gosh, Primrose was so, 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 so different. I just... I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. What do you have to do? What do you have to do? Talk? No, go potty. Also, you guys, about the elements collection, I um, <laughs> I took a little peek on the internet at what we were missing because I was getting really frustrated. And um, apparently, the one that we're missing is called Plumbos, Plumbonium, something like that. But we get it from Jet. We get it from... Um, what else? I wrote it down. Sadnum, Romantium, Simtanium, Plumbi, and Jet. Put that down. Primrose needs to eat it. She's hungry. So I'm, I have a Jet in my inventory. I'm going to send that out and fingers crossed that we get the, the element that we need. Let's try out this crystal as well. Mount Crystal. Okay, let's see. So she needs energy and hunger. What will help that? And she's also very tense. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. When slotted into the crown, this crystal boosts logic. Skill gain and recharges the hunger need. <gasps> definitely, 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 definitely mount crystal. Okay, let's see. Is it mounted? Where? Let's see her put it on. She's got cramps, you guys. I think I might need to purchase her some painkillers. <laughs> Oh, you poor baby. Okay, so this is supposed to be boosting her logic. Well, it's at 46% right now. We'll see. Hey, beautiful. I'm in the mood. Want to spend some time together? Um, yeah, you can actually come over here because we have kids now and we can't be like jetting off everywhere that you want us to be. <laughs> so let's invite him over. See if he wants to hang out with the kids and I. Is it boo- Oh my gosh, look! Her hunger shot all the way up. And let's see where her logic is right now. Still at 46%. Does she need to be doing logic-y things for it to be, for it to like boost? I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Let's get her to practice analysis real quick and see how quickly it goes up. Okay, Luke's coming over. We got Bud in bed. Primrose is just, she's gonna go talk to Drago. Okay, have some fun. Do that. You maxed all your skills, so we don't need to do anything else with you. All right. Let's see how fast it goes up. Have you been texting my babe? I don't know, my Maki, who's your babe? I mean, it's kind of fast, but nothing that I like can really, really notice. Oh good, we got a breakthrough. We needed that for work. Yeah, girl. Go, girl. Yay, yeah, girl. Go, girl. <laughs> Interesting results. Interesting reaction. 
but what does it mean? She has a good amount of reward points. Let's see if there's anything that will um, assist us. Ooh, should we get entrepreneurial? These sims are more likely to get promoted in their career. Okay, that would come in clutch for sure. And let's get the Night Owl one. Night Owls build extra skill at night because she seems to always be doing her skills at night, so. Can I call Luke over here? Like, what is he even doing? Oh, he's on the computer. Shocker. And freaking... Was that Bud? Who made that mess? <laughs> yep, too far away. All right, she's like uber tired, so I guess it's time for sleeps. Maybe she just invited Luke over so he could watch the babes while she catches up on sleep and work. Oh, okay, another thing that I wanted to do that I want to do in all of my Let's Plays because it is so clutch. I want to start another club and it'll just be like a household club. And I really wish that I could add toddlers to the club, but when they age up, I'll add them. But for the club activities, you just do like regular things like bathe and shower, sleep, eat, clean, fix objects, and you constantly leave the club going, like you keep a gathering going. And yeah, you'll get a bunch of club points and then you can use those club points to uh, give like boost to skills and things like that. So honestly, anything, absolutely anything that will help us boost our skills is A plus for me. I'm kind of wishing that trolling the forums was on here, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, here we go. Social. Be mischievous. That works. Okay, and then the last one. Logic. Use science objects. Yes! Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Invite only. Bada bing. Oh, um, let's do this one, of course. All right. And then when the beans age up, I can add them to the club and then we'll accumulate points faster. So there are not enough members in this club to start a gathering. Okay, I guess we should add Luke then. Or no, let's add, let's add Alice. All right, start gathering. She'll just be here all the time if I keep the gathering going. <laughs> oh, okay, so... Aw, look! How cute is that? I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. Luke and her, he really is um babysitting her. Talk about superheroes, talk about dinosaurs. Uh, talk about art. Oh my god, how cute is that? This is really adorable. You guys. Oh my gosh. I love him. Oh, okay. He's off. All right, Bean. Well, it's time for bed anyway. Like, look at your... <laughs> look at your, uh, mood. Looks like Alice is asleep in our bed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Mm, one toddler goes to bed and another wakes up. Nice. Oh no! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I lost track of time and she aged up without a cake. <gasps> I'm such a bad sim mom! Oh my gosh. Poor baby. I hope she's not sad. I really hope not. Okay, let me see if uh, this gen needs anything for children. So really you just have to worry about them when they age up to a teen. That's when you choose the serial romantic aspiration and then give them their traits, but we do need to give her either hot-headed snob or romantic for a for the child trait. So for her aspiration for this, I think I'm just gonna do I think we should do social butterfly. And then for the traits, let's see, what do we got? Can I give her the snob or romantic trait as a child? That wouldn't really make sense for romantic, would it? <laughs> okay, yeah, so her trait has to be hot-headed. Oh my goodness, I feel so bad. Oh, hi, baby. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. She looks really, really, really cute, though. Okay, I'm gonna hop into Create a Sim and give her her makeover because, yeah, her, she's blonde now. She can't be blonde. This isn't the yellow gen. Oh my gosh, look at her alien form. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love this hair, by the way. It's really cute. Let's do her disguise first. <gasps> you guys, she's so adorable. 
She's a really cute kid. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm gonna just get rid of the heterochromia. I think that's what it's called. I have such a problem pronouncing that for some reason. <laughs> all right, guys, this is what I have for her face and her brows and all that. Oh, shoot, actually, I think this blush is conflicting with the freckles. Let me find some different freckles to put on her. All right, there, that's better. So let's go ahead and find her a hair now. What hair did she have in her disguise again? Oh yeah, it was just a very short bob. I don't think I have that hair for children, which is kind of unfortunate, but I really liked this hair that she had on in her alien form. Or in when she, yeah, on her alien form. It's right there. But is there a red swatch? I mean, this one's definitely more orange. That's kind of red. Dang. I really love this hair though. It's so cute. Oh, this hair. It's so good. I mm, love this hair so much. I'm thinking this. Oh, her brows change colors. Why? Why you do this? It's... It kind of reminds me of alien hair a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe we should use her alien form? <gasps> I love it. If we do do... Do do. <laughs> if we do do that hair, we have all kinds of other options because I have a lot of long straight hairstyles. So like, <gasps> excuse me, depending on the outfit, she could have like a different hairstyle with it. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 100 times yes, okay. And since this is the rose generation, like she does have rosy right here, but I don't, should she be more rosy? Like, should we just like really go all out with the rosy cheeks? It's pretty cute. I mean, I love a good like blush. So that's it without it and that's it with it. I think we should, I think we should. Because it's the rose generation, it only makes sense. And I think that we can actually take down the opacity of it. We can, yeah. So we can have it be like right there, so it's not... I love it. Oh god, she's so cute. I think she's going to be a really interesting looking um, adult. I cannot wait. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Let's find you something to wear now, my love. So, hot-headed, wants to be a politician, wants to be a, a serial romantic. Interesting. Should we dress her, like, proper then? Since she's gonna be a politician? I don't know. I don't know. I love this red sweater. Red sweater. Yeah, that's cute. Or she can do something like this vibe. Oh, I like that. Just a little plain red button-up. All right, so I have completed her... <laughs> Her outfits were her human or her disguise. That took me 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's her first outfit. Here's her second. And her third. Here's her formal wear. Really cute. I love her so much. <laughs> here's her active wear. Here is her sleep. Here's her party. Her swimwear. Love the little glasses. She looks so cool. Her hot weather outfit and her cold weather outfit okay so now i need to move on to her disguise i pretty much already know what i want to do i'm just gonna give her like the same skin details that she had when she was a toddler and then she also had her cute little green antennas but why why are they red now no 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 i want them to be green so do i have to like okay let me take this off and try again okay there we go and then what happens if we put the skin detail on after that? Dang it, why is it doing that? I guess uh, as she ages, the more or she gets more and more rosy? Oh no, I guess we can just go with that. <laughs> All right, our girl needs a bit of lashes and hair. Look at how wild this hair is. Crazy, I love all the other colors, it's just the... It's the red swatch that I don't really vibe with. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this hair. I think it's pretty cool. I like how you can see her ears and all that. Yeah, it was between this one and this one. I like them both. Uh, I don't know. I've been in cast for so long already. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this one, but if you guys like the other hair, just let me know in the comments and we can always switch it back. 
So, what shall we dress you in? I know that the alien suit is available for kids now, so let's see how that looks. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I do like it. I think, shoot, should we go for that? Because I know for a fact that I don't have any alien CC for children. Like, clothing-wise, I tried looking before filming today, but I couldn't find anything, unfortunately. It's so hard to find things for kids. Which is why <laughs> I completely skip the kid phase in my mystical motherhood challenge because yeah i really love how the alien skin detailing is all over their body i think that's really cute this is tough this is really tough <laughs> i don't know how often we're gonna see her alien form all right you guys i am done in cast i hope that you like her i hope that you um oh i forgot i <laughs> added these little star earrings aren't they cute because she's from space she's just absolutely beautiful and i'm i'm just stoked I'm so stoked to start playing with her. So I think that if we max her mental skill as a child, she'll have logic when she ages up. I think that's how it is, but I'll have to I'll have to look it up because I'm not 100% sure. Oh, she doesn't need logic though. What does she need? Oh, charisma. Shoot, so sh we should definitely focus on the social aspect then. Okay, come over here and eat these plantains, Andy. You are just like not vibing with life right now. So let me just take care of that for you. <laughs> You, my sweet. Oh, crap. You need a real bed now. Oh, my gosh. Things are just moving so quickly. And I'm not prepared. All right. I need to find a red bed. A red bed. A red bed. Ooh, this one's cute. But no. I like this one better. Tiny living is where it's at. Doesn't have very good stats, though. I think she might need her own room now as well. Oh, wow. The eco lifestyle bed's really good. Oh, and it's so cute. Okay, we're doing that. Bam. All right, queen, let's assign this bed to you. Oops, not the monster. Um, assign bed, primrose, go sleep. And then we need the nightlight that's going to keep the monsters away. The defender. Cool la la, the defender while light. There you go, my sweet. All right, you, you're good, you're good, you're good. Just take care of yourself. Oh my gosh, look at that. Because she maxed all of her skills as a toddler, she has almost level three in everything. Wow. Okay, sir, no. No, 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 no. I have decided I do not like, I do not like wild toddlers, not even a little bit. And Andy is just straight up not having a good time. And I completely understand why. What do you need? Who gave you sugar? He's feeling very angry. Okay, he needs some fun. So let's just go upstairs. I'm going to have you play with... Wow, there isn't really a lot of toys, is there? Oh, Primrose, do you still have that ducky? Do you want to pass it down to your little brother? There you go. Go ahead and play with that a bunch of times to get that imagination skill up. All right, Andy, clean up the floor. What else is wrong with you? Man, this this episode sucks so far. <laughs> it's so hard. Oh my goodness. Let's see how many club points we have so far. 413. Okay, can we buy anything? What can we get? We need a little boosty boost in our logic and in our mischief. This will build, boost the speed at which your sim gains mischief skill. Okay, yeah, let's grab that. And then the next one we'll get is the logic one. So we need a, another 400 points. Oh, crap. And the toilet's broken. How much? $426? Oof, we should just repair it. And Alice, you're here and you're so pregnant. I think that the most realistic thing would, Andy would probably be like, okay, um, so I want you to be out of that house. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a bed in my lab and you can stay there for as long as you need and then like over time maybe we can make her her own space yeah go ahead and mop that puddle outside too i don't know where that came from <laughs> okay and andy needs some sleep when do you have work next five hours oh shoot okay you definitely need to go sleep then i wonder if she'll sleep in the same bed with alice oh she's just mopping all the puddles there you go oh wow okay they're sleeping in the same bed together okay well let me let me end the gathering so that Alice can go home. I'm like so curious if like when we have a pregnant roommate, if when they have the baby, like the baby and Alice will both be our roommates. Very, very interested. I think she's about to head out. All right, Bud needs a bath. This toddler, 
so needy. Let me go to manage worlds. And then I think if I, I'm going to move her out, I'm going to move her into her own space because I think, no, no, no. I'm just going to move her out actually and not have her live anywhere. Cause I think that's how you can get people to be your roommate. I've only done the roommate thing once in the Sims and some, they were like living at home with their family and they denied to be our roommate. And I was like, what the heck? I didn't know that they could deny it. So, okay, let's see. <gasps> oh my God, where did Eric go? He's out of the house already. Wait, what? <gasps> oh my gosh, that was so unbelievably fast. He already found some, oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. Holy cow, wow, all right. Okay, well, maybe we shouldn't move Alice in then. I kind of really liked that idea, but at the same time, if she has this big house, it's a three-story house and her, her daughter is still there. Maybe she should just stay. I think that would probably be, probably be best instead of like sleeping on a freaking couch, a futon in our lab. Dang, I can't even believe that. That's so crazy. He moved on so fast. He lives in Evergreen Harbor now. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. They live in a, uh, a two bedroom apartment together. What we're gonna have to do is go back into our game and we need to go over to his house because I need to bind the voodoo doll to him because we need to perform voodoo five times. So at least now I know where he lives, but holy crap. I did not do that. It was the game. It was literally him. He found someone else and moved out of the house. Holy crap. The tea is extra hot today. Bills have just been delivered. Okay, yeah, we're definitely not gonna be able to <laughs> pay those $5,000, but we do have work today, right? Okay, we do. So after work, we're going to head over to Eric's house and um, find the voodoo doll PB and J, P, P, B and J, P, B and J, P, P, B and J. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we gonna join her today because we need that promotion. Well, what's this? The laboratory is running low on supplies. You'll need to collect more specimens in order for the lab to continue research. Okay, will do. I really, really love this work outfit. It's just, it's just a vibe, is it not? She looks so cool. I'm gonna just make sure that prevent abductions is on because I don't want her to get abducted again. <laughs> And I'll probably skip through this work day just because it's a bit boring, but let's, um, let's just ask Alice to feel the baby because, yeah, our best friend is pregnant. Oh, oh. I'm so stoked. I'm so, so, so stoked. All right. Well, I'm just going to spend all day finding collectibles. So yeah, y'all can find me here. <laughs> And how many treasure maps do we have? I know that I don't want my Sims trophies. However, we have three of them. If we use the treasure maps to dig for treasure, I think we can find rare my Sims trophies that we can sell because we are at that point in the in the game where I need money. <laughs> I really need money. Also, I was thinking when Miss Primrose ages up into a teen, we should totally. Jeez, how many capsules am I finding? We should totally get her to get a job as a teenager so that she can start saving money to purchase her own house when she ages up into a young adult. Because when she ages up into a young adult, we're definitely going to like move house into her red home. And yeah, I think that would be cool. Okay, we got a lifestyle, you guys. She got the single and loving it lifestyle. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but you pretty much have to stay single in order to maintain it. Sims live in a single and loving it lifestyle, happily enjoy the single life and savor their independence. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, avoid being in a committed romantic relationship and romantic media. Lifestyle effects, various benefits when single, increased skill gain and all skills when single. Oh my gosh. Less likely to acquire romantic sentiments, find romantic media somewhat unrealistic, increased work performance when single, tense when in a new committed romantic relationship. Crap. Looks like we're staying single, guys. Those are way too many benefits to pass up. Are they not? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. 
And you know, the more that I play, the more that I see Andy as being a very independent sim. Just like loving being single, loving, um, ooh, what one? We wear bags. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> you guys, that Celsius, mm, it's just hitting the spot. It's hitting the spot. I love it. Highly recommend. Okay, $1,662 with no promotion. That's fine. We'll definitely get one next time. I hope we didn't waste our aspiration points on that entrepreneurial reward if it doesn't really do anything, but I guess we shall see. This is one of those games, this is one of those like challenges that I never want to stop playing. Well, should we open up these time capsules? How much are they worth? $70. <sighs> okay, let's just open them all up. Hopefully we get some rare ones. So, shoot. $25. Yikes. This one's worth 20. Oh my gosh, maybe we shouldn't open 20. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we shouldn't even open the open the time capsules. We should just sell them as they are. Oh, here we go. $130 one. $125 one, two of them. $100 one. Okay, maybe. Maybe it is worth it. I don't know. <laughs> Dr. F? Oh my gosh! I've never seen this one before. <gasps> How cute is that? Oh, we should put the um, the postcard that Alice gave us up in our lab. Let's just put it right here above our chemical analyzer. Okay, I think we might have enough after selling all of that stuff. Let me see though. Yes! Oh my gosh, we're gonna have like a hundred bucks yet, but our power or water won't be turned off, so. Ooh, where do you wanna hang out? A nightclub? It's Monday! And, and you're pregnant. <laughs> All right, let's have a little travel to Evergreen Harbor to bond our voodoo doll to Eric very quick. We're just gonna knock on his door and he's gonna be like, what are you doing here? Of all people, you were the last person I ever expected to be on my doorstep. Oh, hey girl. Oh my God. This man moves fast and I'm very upset about it. He already got his new girlfriend pregnant. All right, he's here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's crying. Okay, he must be a little bit heartbroken. Not now, Luke, we're doing hot girl stuff. Fine to Eric. Yes, girl, get it, yes. Oh my god, that maniacal laughter. I love it. All right, time to go. She didn't even have to see him to do it, which is good. <laughs> Again, I don't know where we got that death flower from, but I think we should plant it in our lab. I think that would definitely be something that Andy would be like very intrigued by. So I'll have to buy another plant pot, but that's okay. I think we can squeeze it somewhere. Okay, it's bound. It is bound. Pause. So we're having a little boost from nighttime. We're also having a boost when we have our club gathering going. So let me start that. Summon Eric. Oh my goodness. Hey, pregnant bean. You need to have that baby already. She's like, Alice, you're gonna freaking love this. Guess who I bound my voodoo doll to? <laughs> okay. Um, what's this? Andy's voodoo doll bound to Eric. Okay. Let's let's do voodoo. Let's poke. <laughs> you wanna? Oh my word. That is... Oh, he's here! Shoot! Okay. Oh, so he has to be around for us to do the voodoo, apparently. She's throwing water. Let's see. Okay, that was anticlimactic, but we need to do it again. Let's just poke him again, see what happens. Stop right there, sir. I'm doing voodoo on you. You guys, why do I feel bad for him? No, you did it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, you're done. You're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Promos can ask you advice. No problem, no problem. Are you still playing with your ducky? Honey, I need you to play with ducky. I absolutely love that Alice feels comfortable enough with us to just sleep in our bed. <laughs> I love that. How is your imagination skill coming along? Oh my gosh, almost level four. Very good boy, very good. So all we need to do for her aspiration is achieve level 10 mischief and then we'll be done. And she just reached level six uh, parenting. 
Yeah, girl. Primrose, what are you what are you doing? How did you gain a new follower? Why is Luke here? Why are you and Luke just like best friends? I, I didn't even invite him over. He just showed up and Primrose is over here on the porch talking to him. I really love that actually. I think it's really, really cute, but I don't know. I didn't even know he was here. Oh shoot, our plants are dying or they're already dead. I'm not, I'm not sure. Crap. Yeah, this one's dead. All right, dispose of it. Let's harvest the grapes. And then I wonder if we can plant the death flower in this thing. I hope we can. Cause I know there's only certain things that you can. I feel like we're like grinding hard in this episode. No fun, no freaking fun times. We are working hard. It seems like we do a week in an episode. We work, grind all through the week. And then when the weekend comes, we like do something fun. So I think that's what we should do in this episode too. Mr. Bud is hungry. So I'm gonna get Andy to give him, give food to Bud. Uh, let's do peas again. So he doesn't have that sugar crash. And then I need you to, I need you to repair this as well. Sorry, Andy, our computer is our life. I'm pretty sure Primrose broke it chatting on, <laughs> chatting in kids chat rooms. I bet she was clicking all the spam emails and we got a virus or something. All right, perfect. You fixed it. What are you gonna do? No, 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 no. Let's, let's troll the forums a bit. How are them peas, little man? Oh, you haven't began eating them. There you go. Enjoy, sir. Aww. I think he really likes peas. She's so sad. I know, I know, but he was a jerk. Just remember that. And he's already having a kid with someone else. Oh, I hope we get promoted today, you guys. Fingers crossed. All right, it looks like we might get promoted today. I just need to grind. Mix Embiggen Serum? What the heck is that? Drink this serum to fatten your sim up. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh, a need fixer? Wait, 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 wait. Drink this serum to fill all your sim's needs. Oh my goodness. Oh, we need a spinach plant at home. Oh my gosh, that is so clutch. That is so clutch. I need that. I need it. I made Andy invent us another satellite dish for our house. So I'm going to put that up when we get back. What is happening here? You guys better not be flirting. Oh, one of you guys said in the comments that you should hook up Alice with Theo. I love that idea. I think they would make a really, really cute couple. So I'm going to go ahead and try that at Andy's party when I invite everyone over to celebrate. There we go, we made the same amount of money we did last time. That's funny. Oh, you know what? I said that we should, we didn't get promoted. What the heck is happening? I said I was gonna wait until the weekend to celebrate, but since Andy's birthday is in two days on Thursday, maybe we should do it earlier. Okay, since uh, this right here, this little area is, no shoot, we should definitely do it in the lab for the death flower. Let me purchase a teeny tiny planter. She's almost leveling up in her logic, so she'll be level eight. And then her mischief is almost to level eight as well. So when she uh, gets to level eight here, I'll get her to go upstairs. Troll le forums. When is that stupid humor and hijinks festival? Seriously, I'm gonna, I'm about to look it up because I'm trying to go. Hi, <laughs> Prim. Hey, no, no computer time. It's not your turn. Why don't you do your homework? Oh, breeze through homework. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, how cute are you? Oh, the absolute cutest. What are you feeling sad from? What happened? That really hurt from falling down? Poor baby. Yeah, girl, work that mischief skill. Oh, we have 400 points again. Okay, let's get her that logic boost. Bada bing, bada boom. I started another gathering so we can get more points. I feel like I'm cheating, but I'm not. Alice just comes over and sleeps and we get points. <laughs> oh yay, imagination level five. You did it, love, you did it. What's wrong? Don't toy with me from playing with toys. Really, you're sad from playing with toys? All right. <laughs> I guess we can work on your potty skill. So come over here and go potsy, go potsy, go potsy, go potsy, go potsy. Prim is sleeping. Did you do your homework like I said? Okay, she actually did it. Good girl. She put herself to bed at 12.45 a.m. 
I was gonna say that's a decent hour, but it's not really. Yay, mischief level eight! Oh my gosh, Andy, you're doing it. You know what else we need to do? We need to come and do some f more fishing because I would like more fish in our aquarium. We do have work in seven hours, so I'm just gonna wait until she catches one fish and then I'll send her home. What do we get? Ooh, an orange topaz. We have so many of those. Holy cannoli, fishing level two, let's go. Some of you guys asked in the comments if this was part of her rules for her generation. It's not. I literally... Another walleye? Ugh. I literally just want fish for the aquarium, and that's why we're doing it. I think we should bring the aquarium, like, to every new generation's house. Like, the aquarium will be our family legacy. Yeah. Because I like fish. I really like fish a lot. I don't know why. I just have a soft spot for them. Oh, good morning, bud. Okay, Primrose, have a great day at school today. Listen to the teacher, get good grades. All right, hopefully today we can get our logic skill up. Use microscope for research. All right, use. Nox and Alice have been very buddy-buddy. Oh my gosh, she had her baby. Oh my gosh. Hey, can you stop yelling at her, sir? You know what I just realized? Nox is the only man that works here, and he works with a bunch of beautiful ladies. Alice, Monique, Andy, little Amy over there, and... Oh, shoot, girl. Be careful. Does Abby still work here? I haven't seen her in a while. Sad day. She probably went back to her alien planet. Oh, no, she's right here. Yeah. Dang, Nox. How do you get anything done? <laughs> <laughs> Mind control, a sim to clean. All right. Oh, yes. Okay, we are now pioneer of new technologies. We make an additional 45 an hour. We had a cash bonus and new clothes. Her shift is, her next shift is Thursday and we got a vacation day and 1,662. That must be like the maximum amount that we can make at work. Yay, I'm so happy. So we'll be celebrating her promotion and her birthday at this little shindig that we're gonna throw. Okay, let me see if I can add Primrose to the club now. I really can't. Gosh, that's so lame. I'm gonna add Luke to the club though so that we can get uh, points quicker. You bung! Oh my gosh, will you ever stop? Will you ever stop? Okay, so let's see. Okay, her birthday's tomorrow, so that's when we're gonna have the party. Yes, buddy! Dance, 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 dance! Let's freaking max that skill! Okay, we've got 400 points again. Alright, let's see what we can get this time. Oh, I know! We can do something for Primrose. Oh, but she's not in the club! Let's get her the social boost, and let's also get her the mental boost. Let me see if I can add her. I wonder if we, like, have to actually, like, physically ask her. I'll do it in the morning. Alright, guys! Another day! another dollar. So we're gonna do today's work day and then when we get home have our birthday party and our promotion party. We need to add Primrose to the club. We need to try and get Theo and Alice potentially together. Um yeah I think that's it. Ooh upgrade satellite dish. Ooh ooh I wonder what we uh what we're gonna upgrade it to. <gasps> okay so curious. Let's see upgrade. I hope we can do more alien things now. Oh my gosh, detect aliens. Oh, very cool. Continue upgrading this other one for home too. Detect local aliens. Yes, let's give that a shot. That sounds fun. Andy Berry has successfully used a dish to find local aliens. Keep a watchful eye. All right then, I shall. Yay, Primrose, blah, 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 blah. Primrose's grades are up as well. Good girl. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at how much money we made today. 2,188, we will never have problems paying our bills again. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I'm so ready to do some socializing now. All right, it is seven o'clock and you need some fun and some hunger. So why don't you just have something quick? Let's just have some applesauce and then plan a social event. Yeah. All right, $600 to throw a birthday party. Oh my gosh, she put on her fancy dress for the occasion. Let's go, girl. Okay, come inside. Let's play some unknown caller. Just hang 
up. Okay, let's play some... I don't know. I feel like Andy would maybe play some jazz. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alice's daughter is here and she's pissed. Okay, hang on one second. Why are you guys in your work outfits? Hey, Omari! What's up? Let's thank him for coming. Oh, what a classy party. I love it. <laughs> Here is Zephyr. Here's Theo. We got we got Olive out here. <laughs> One of you guys commented that this was your sim. I absolutely love her, so thank you for making her for me and using my hashtag. All right, Monique, let's get you in your fancy your fancy dress outfit. What do you got? Oh, that's nice. Let's do that one. A little light blue action. There's Jared. I can see them getting together. They look like a cute couple. You guys gonna come in or what? Oh, yay! The, the caterer is here. Thank goodness. And there's the bartender. Good stuff. All right. So, I am going to talk up Alice with Theo. Talk up another sim. Look at it. Omari is looking at Amy with those eyes. Oh my gosh. Look. Holy crap. Uh, all right. Definitely got to hook them up. That's for sure. Okay. Let me talk up Omari to Amy. This is my like one of my favorite things to do in the sims is like play matchmaker. It's so much fun. Okay, let's see what she says. Wow, I'd love to get to know him. Yeah, he's like right there. He's like laughing at us for doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh, she made us a cake. Okay, fantastic. I should probably put candles on this before someone grabs a piece. Hi, Abby. Thanks for coming. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's screaming at us for breaking up her parents because her mom's having a baby. Did you see? She was screaming at us about a bassinet. Or did you do something? Okay, I'm gonna need you to apologize. You need to get along with her. Just thank her for coming. Evangelize vegetarian benefits. Oh my gosh, Primrose is cleaning up after the guests. I could die. There's our other neighbor. I find it strange that no one is drinking. And she's getting really mad because she's hungry. The caterer is taking forever. Andy had to take matters in her own hands since this caterer wasn't doing anything. Oh crap, 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 crap. She needs to blow out the candles. It's almost two o'clock. No! Oh no! I'm trying to understand why you wanted me to talk to Theo. What do you mean? <gasps> oh gosh, okay. Here she goes. Oh. Happy birthday! This is so rushed. I'm so sorry, Queen. I am so sorry. Wow. This party was just just awful everyone's pissed or sad oh it looks like they're getting along very nice ugh all right well there you go adulthood you aged up in a very crabby mood but uh, i guess we're having french toast for dinner so call to meal Call to meal. Everyone gets some cake. I'm glad I caught that before. Holy crap. Before she, uh... <laughs> aged up without a party. Look, Allison knocks again. Very interesting. Abby's just over here cursing up a storm. Look at our good bean. Oh. I could cry. <sighs> okay, well, back float. I'm gonna go ahead and end the party since Andy is just not feeling it. I am never hiring a caterer again. What a waste of time. Waste of time, waste of money. And why was she trying to make so much breakfast food? I mean, nothing wrong with breakfast food, but it was a dinner party. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if Alice gets together with someone. Oh, yay. We had the breakthrough that we needed. Thank goodness. Work in three hours. Should we take a vacation day? Let's do that. We have how many days in our adulthood? 24 days to get two more promotions. We got this in the bag. We do. So let's just focus on your needs a little bit. Work on your skills a little bit. And just, you know, hang out at home today. 
definitely needed. All right, bud, how are your skills coming along? So you just need movement. Um, I think the best thing to do for that is just like wander around. Yay, bud, you did it! Level five movement! Oh my gosh. Okay, I think that the last thing that he needs is thinking. And I'm very, yeah, shoot. I'm very tempted to, um, just get him a tablet. So use the potty and then play Sim Shape. She's voluntarily having peas for dinner. <laughs> Watch TV while you're at it because you really need some fun. And eat the peas. Watch TV and eat the peas. Wait, 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 no, no. Oh my God. Oh. Jeez, uh, what is happening right now? Our girl almost got abducted, uh, uh, abducted again, but my game glitched. And then she got struck by lightning. Holy cannoli, oh my gosh. I swear, she almost got abducted two times. I wonder if it's because we have the satellite dish at prevent abductions. I always keep forgetting to put this out. Let me just double check that that's uh, clicked. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got out here? What did we get? I love thunderstorms because- Ooh, Sadnum! Yes, that's something that we um need to send to the Geo Council for our last element. <gasps> do we get mail on Saturdays, I wonder? Oh, shoot. Can we? Do we have anything in the mail right now? Oh my gosh, we do have mail. Okay, go get it. Quickly, quickly. Quickly, and then go back inside. I don't want you to get uh, shocked. Hurry! Really? We just got another Wolfium? Oh, but we got our, uh, loot box. Why is it always the space one? All right, we got another one of those rain bores, which I'm not going to use. We got another space rock. Where was I keeping those? Ooh, so cute. We got a rose one and a mint one. That's what I'm talking about. I am going to sell this book. I'm also going to sell this Saturn picture because I'm pretty sure we already have it. Yeah, we do. Okay, you guys. Well, you know what? I have been filming for so long, so I think I'm going to uh, end this part right here. Oh my gosh, this family. This family is a whole mess. We were so good in the first couple episodes, and now, now we're just not. <laughs> but we did. We did good today. We got to... Hold on a second. We got to level 8 Mischief, which is awesome. We got to level 8 logic, almost level 9. We got promoted once. I wanted to get promoted twice in this episode, but that's okay. So we have to get promoted two more times. I think we're doing great in the challenge. We aged up Andy, we aged up Primrose, and in the next episode we're going to age up... <sighs> Mr. Bud here. Oh my gosh, time flies. But we've almost maxed all of his skills. I don't know if we're going to be able to get thinking done, but I will try. He's not the next heir, so I'm not that concerned. However, it's just, it's just satisfying, you know? <laughs> so in the next episode, yeah, we're gonna age up Bud and just keep grinding. It doesn't look like anything else is happening until Harvest Fest, but that doesn't happen for a while. And then we've got Primrose's birthday on the first day of winter. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And I think it's so funny how Eric moved out already has a new i don't even know if they're married or not already has a new wife actually you know what let's let's find out because i'm very curious oh gosh they had a baby boy and it's a mermaid oh no this is a girl and she's a mermaid oh no it's a male named courtney because courtney is okay yeah let's see are you guys married wow you are. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't even his dad. Oh. Okay. So she was pregnant when you guys got married. Interesting. So it's a stepdad. Or stepson, I mean. Oh my gosh, wait. Omari. Oh shoot, Omari got married and we were trying to hook him up with Amy. Oh my gosh. So this, he married her. Oh, wow. Okay. But yeah, you guys, I will see you on my next video, which will be 100 Baby. I love you so much. And I'll see you then. Bye.